This is probably going to be the worst video I ever post. So what is in perhaps the world's worst turn of events? I sat down yesterday to edit this video and found out that I had deleted half the footage. Who told me to do that? Okay, you know what? So what I'm gonna do is just sit down and with the awkward conglomerate of footage that I do have left, I'm gonna try to make this video as entertaining as possible. Most of you probably know that when I move out, I'm planning on adopting five dogs at the least, maybe a parrot, we'll see about that, and moving to the middle of nowhere. And when I say middle of nowhere, I mean balls to the wall savage land provided Aritzia is within a 10 minute drive from me. So I thought to myself, why don't I just paint this thing on my bedroom wall and then every morning have this monstrosity just staring into my soul, you know? Seems pretty simple. Well, that's what I thought too. So okay, you know what? We have an idea. So what's next? I need to find a reference photo. So at the time, for some reason, I was really infatuated with the idea of a wintry scene. So I searched up winter trees on the Googs, but that didn't work. So I tried winter wonderland, snowy landscape, the Arctic, Norway, Elsa, and eventually through a rigorous process of elimination, I found this photo. Now you might be thinking, hey, that looks like a perfectly good photo. Wrong. You're wrong, okay? Did you hear that? You're wrong. One, this is actually not a photograph. It's a photograph of a painting, and I'm not out here trying to be accused of plagiarism a la James Charles. And two, this has an astronomically high chance of looking like cauliflower if I paint it. Back to the drawing board. How about a jungle landscape? Yeah, that seems pretty cool. I mean, it's green, it's fluffy, lots of doggies. No! You wanna know why? Because of this! Okay, and this, and that, and we're not doing that on my bedroom wall. So eventually, I settled for this simple, generic, Bob Ross-esque image. I found this photo when I typed in British Columbia on Google or Bing. You might never know, I might be a traitor. What happened to Bing? Illuminati confirmed. So I found the photo, you know, I said, hey, I'm gonna paint it and delete half the footage. So I started this madness. October 12th, 2019, almost an entire month ago. And I deleted half the footage. Okay, let's get past that. So first I cleared my room, you know, I took everything out of my bed. Uh, if you remember, I still have that bed that, you know, swings up and just descends into the seven depths of hell or whatever. So yeah, I took everything out of that and then I pushed everything to this side of the room. It was time to actually start painting. So the next morning, I woke up bright and early, said, holy trash bags, I need some thick brushes to make this thick painting. And then I jumped in the car and we went to Rana, which is essentially Home Depot's left testicle. Here's the audio from that footage that I deleted. Good morning, my dudes. Today begins this madness. We're here at Rana. So the game plan is just to buy every single paintbrush I see. Did you know that I deleted half the footage? I'm so mad right now that if Fury was a function of time, I would be the asymptote. Right, so then when I got home, it was time to put paintbrush to wall, if you know what I mean. The first plan of action was to paint the mountains in the back. Not gonna lie, it was starting to look awful. So I searched up on YouTube how to paint mountains and I found a video of Bob Ross painting mountains for 10 hours and I watched like a third of the whole thing and I came up with this and I'm pretty happy with it. So once that was over and done with, what entered is what I'm going to call Joanna's brain being a pathetic, indecisive little punk because I wasn't able to decide what to do next. Like there was just so much stuff going on. Did I do the water? Did I do the trees? Did I do the mountains in the foreground? Did I just lay an underlayer? Did I draw a pentagram? I don't know. It really was suspended in midair as to what I was gonna do next, except that it wasn't because I used acrylics. And I loosely blocked out pretty much everything that you see behind me. This is where things got really funky and freaky. My wall was looking like a whole mess, let's just say that. And I'm kind of glad that the footage got deleted because you probably would have clicked off at this point. Listen, okay, Dirty Diana started playing. Shout out to all the clean Dianas out there. And it was just like, 
I didn't know what to do. So at this point, I'm gonna mention something. I started this video over reading week, and it was supposed to span that week, but as you can already imagine, that didn't happen. Um, you know, reading week is when you're supposed to read books, but both of my professors to assume that I was gonna do anything else than paint up a storm and delete half the footage. So at this point, it had been like three days of me doing this, and honestly, I'd made no discernible progress, so I started to freak out. So for the next two weeks, I painted like an absolute maniac. I cannot stress this enough. This video drained me of energy I didn't even know I had. I don't wanna see paint for the next like five years. And I mean, we all know that I'm a sufferer of the chronic glutton for punishment syndrome. So you know my ass is gonna be back next week painting the ceiling or something. Oh, and not to mention, you know how many coconut flour pancakes I consumed during this? I mean, the only upside of this was that I perfected the coconut flour pancake, Gordon Ramsay, fight me. And mug cakes, we're not even gonna talk about that. So, you know, a couple hundred trees later, I was starting to really want this to be over with. <laughs> and I was extremely drained at this point. You know, I didn't have carpal tunnel syndrome. I was carpal tunnel syndrome. I can't believe I actually deleted the footage. How do we... How, what? So fast forward like another week. Yes, we're at three weeks at this point. <laughs> Claps for perseverance. Things were spooky, but not spookier than the temper tantrum I'm throwing because I deleted half the footage. You know, I don't usually swear. You have to catch me on a really bad day for me to let one loose, but I'm this close to just opening the floodgates of potty mouth, if you know what I mean. Anyways, back to Halloween. Of course, I dressed up for the occasion, and uh, no, my costume shouldn't have surprised anyone. I'm not even going to, you know what? I'll just show myself out. Merry Halloween, everybody. I need to finish this goddamn painting right now. Now, full disclosure, there was supposed to be a Halloween video. If this video, didn't turn out to be such a butt boil to film. I was supposed to go trick-or-treating with my mom. I know, impeccable idea. In hindsight though, I really don't think that would have been the best of ideas because I'm pretty sure the government would have found some issue with two adults essentially stealing candy from little kids. But last time I checked, Justin Trudeau has no business knowing what I get up to on Halloween. So at this point, the painting was almost done. The abomination was almost complete. Voldemort was like, six horcruxes in to coming back to life and he was giving off major rat boy vibes. The only thing I really had left were those trees in the corner. Now I implore you not to look too closely at those things because there's some really confusing things going on there to say the least. I truly had no idea what was happening anymore at this point. I was more just painting to finish the painting than actually enjoy it, which sucks. Uh, we're here now though, so there's no going back. Finally, the last corner was upon me. I was excited. Now I'll admit the mural was looking pretty good at this point and I was starting to get to see the full image come to fruition, if you know what I mean. This final corner, don't look too close at it because it really is questionable. Thank God the bed is gonna cover this thing. Three intersecting planes does not always a corner make. You know, this whole experience reminded me of this time in the eighth grade when I had a history project where I had to create a poster for the Battle of Passchendaele. I spent three days painting the background of that stupid poster as a war scene. What was the point of that? N no one asked, no one cared, the teacher didn't care, your classmates didn't care, Joanna, why? You know, I have the utmost respect for uh, my classmates who had to deal with my unnecessary extraness, but eventually I persevered I finished the thing, but unfortunately it was pretty underwhelming. I'm done. Holy sh- So yeah, now that that's over and done with, this thing is on my wall now forever. I mean, despite all of my grievances, I have to say that I'm happy with it. You know, could it be better? Yes, but it could always be better. This would have been a much better video if I hadn't deleted half the footage, but we're not gonna talk about that. You know why? Because blood pressure is a thing and I'm not here trying to die before 30 years old. You wanna see a visual representation of this video? Yeah, it 
it's something like that. When you look at the big picture of this painting, it really does stand as a testament to my suffering. I persevered, I came through, and from afar, it looks good. It's kind of like Betty Midler telling you that God doesn't see your issues because he's looking from afar. Yeah, I didn't know God was nearsighted either. Are there glasses in heaven? I'm offending so many people right now. Okay, so let's talk about the absolute cost of this video. Number one, paint. The sheer amount of paint I used for this, honestly, unholy and unspeakable. I emptied out every single tube of green paint I had and then some. We went back to Michael's like three separate times, okay? The CRA really has to be wondering what the heck is going on with my business expenses at this point. Number two, brushes. So there are a couple of brushes that I really couldn't have done this whole thing without, you know, MVPs, most valuable paint brushes. The fan brush, I mean, a classic. This is such a strange brush, but when push comes to shove, she pushes really hard. Every single one of my Philibert paint brushes drag my pronunciation, I dare you, uh, going from skinny to thick. And of course, who could forget all of my two inch paintbrushes, mug cakes. I talked about this earlier in the video and I just, I really don't think it would be productive for me to disclose the precise amount of mug cakes I ate. Homework. I haven't heard of her in three weeks. Pretty sure procrastination kidnapped her. Sleep? What's a sleep? Excuse me. Pretty sure procrastination kidnapped her too. And finally, mental state. You know, I really didn't think that this whole experience could have gotten any worse until I deleted half the footage. Yeah, I cried for like 30 minutes, you know? And then did I also download a super sketchy app off the internet for $130 that would try to salvage deleted files? Yeah. And did it not work? Yeah. How did I cope with this? I searched up I'm mad playlist on YouTube and played that crap until my eardrums went numb. So yeah, that's it. That's the end of the video. I'm sorry I made you wait two weeks for this. This could have been such a good video if I wasn't so much of a dumb idiot and press the delete button. Look at this, okay? My notes for this video, they're in capital letters. I'm thinking in capital letters. Actually, screw you, I'm thinking in Comic Sans. Yeah, that's right, get offended. Are you ready for the world's worst peel porn?